Good morning, everybody. It is day five of our challenge. I have so, so, so enjoyed my week with you. You all have been amazing. I've loved the feedback, uh, loved all the interaction in the group, loved all the, the private posts and emails and things. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, we're going to be talking about money, money, money. When do we get an, uh, a return on our investment? So as we know, when our children go to college, we're all investing, right? We're investing our time, our resources, our our prayers, if you have a faith tradition, our emotions, our tears, our joys, our smiles, our hugs, you know, they, they come shopping in your, your refrigerator. Do you all, do your college students do that? Mine does. And so all those different things we're investing, right? And we want a return on that investment. What is the quickest way to get a return on an investment? The quickest way is to have that investment already paid for. So the quickest way to get a return on your investment in college is not to take out any student loans, not to have to pay back anything, but to be able to pay it as you go as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is talk about some creative ways that we as moms and our students can think about earning income and putting that towards tuition, okay? Every one of these are things that we as moms can do and things our students can do. And so, obviously, it's going to look really different if I'm doing it than if my student is doing it. But either way, these are these are some things, okay? So, we're going to go through these really quickly. Uh, if you want to have that, uh, either your notes section or, or download the worksheet and kind of make notes in there. But um, I'm super, super, super interested to hear what resonated with you. What do you think would work for you? Every single one one of these are proven. Every single one of these, I know somebody who has done that and, and made some money. Have they paid for their entire college with just one of these? Maybe not, but, but that's okay. So we're going to move through these. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop them below on the video or on one of the other posts for today. Today's day five. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started. The first one I want to talk to you about is care.com. So at care.com, it is um, a service where you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can register, your student can register. I'm just going to talk to the moms for now, and you all can parallel this with your student. That may be easier. So um, you can register. You can be a house sitter, a babysitter, a pet sitter, or a tutor, a house cleaner, an errands runner, all these different things. So you can set your own schedule. So let's say you have a grueling 60-hour-a-week job. Okay, but how many hours a week do each one of us have? Calculating, 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 168. So you've still got 108 hours a week that you can put towards something. And we all, that's the thats the thing about time is, um, I, I used to say time management, now I say time allocation because every one of us is given the same exact amount of time and every one of us spends the exact amount of time. It's not as if we're given something and if we don't use it, we can bank it. I mean, it's it's gone. So it's it's how we use it, it's how we allocate it. So, um, so even if you've got a really grueling job, You've still got some hours in your week, maybe five, 10 hours a week that you could do care.com and do errands or house sitting, um, <clears throat> you know, go um, do like um, pet pet sitting or taking um, dogs on walks, those kinds of things. So that's care.com. Second thing is Etsy. I know my peeps. I know that y'all are creative. So every single one of you probably has something that you can do, that you can create, that you can make, that you can maybe sell on Etsy. And the great thing is it's all there. You know, you just post it there and then um, you go through Etsy and then that you get the orders and then yes, you have to mail it out. But every one of you, I think, probably has something that you could add there. Um, the third thing, and this is kind of um, at least new, it's a new concept to me um, that's not on a global scale, um, like more on a personal scale, and that is a membership. And some of you may be thinking, now what is that exactly? So um, many of you, I imagine, are Amazon members or, or Netflix members. Is that right? Every one of you probably. Uh, I know I have both of those. And so, um, what is the thing that you do and or your student does that you could have a monthly membership? You know, like, let's say um, your your student, you know, invest, you know, $500 in a lawnmower. Well, I mean, could he go in your neighborhood and say, hey, you know, for a membership, like we, we know, um, 
you know, we, we pay our person that, that comes by to do that. And we know uh, how often he's going to do that. Okay. So, um, so a membership um, for some sort of service and lots and lots and lots of things to drill down in there in terms of a membership. Another one is affiliate programs. So if you have an organization or if you know somebody who's trying to sell something, then you can be an affiliate for them and just offer to do marketing. And then you just make commission off of how many of those things you sell. A friend of mine does this uh, with an organization that sells really, really, really high ticket, um, uh, high, what am I trying to say? High ticket conference tickets. And so um, she literally, you know, she she's, um, you know, rubbing elbows with these people and she says, oh, oh, you need this, blah, 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 blah. Oh, let me tell you about this great conference. And of course, it's always in a fabulous place and, and it's a high dollar. And then she makes money from that. And so, um, so that's a great way, affiliate programs. Another one is virtual assistant. Every one of you, I'm sure, can type or make phone calls or do data entry or something. I mean, I actually am kind of drowning and and um, and needing to sort of overhaul my uh, um, system for keeping up with data and contacts and where do I meet people and those kinds of things. And so, you know, I, I could use a virtual assistant. And so I bet each one of you could could play that role. Another one is tutor, an actual face-to-face -face tutor. So some of you may be thinking, especially for your student, if my student is 18 and about to go to college, then how can he or she be a tutor? Or how can I be a tutor? Who, who wants to to learn from me necessarily. But every one of us have things like note-taking skills, um, how do you take a lecture and and go through that and make sure that you caught everything? Um, you know, certainly in subject uh, areas, uh, even in writing, helping people study, lots of things. So there are a lot of different ways that you could tutor. Um, another one is, and this is um, becoming more popular, um, is actually, um, especially for, for students for uh, birthdays or holidays, or if you're going to be graduating from high school soon, there are people who have set up a GoFundMe page. So it's just a nice little thing to add, say, in, you know, um, in the uh, graduation announcement or to tell family and friends, thank you so much for that coffee mug. I am super excited about that. Um, but before you buy me the coffee mug, perhaps consider donating to my GoFundMe. And all of the GoFundMe goes directly to my institution. You know, this is not, um, I need spending money to go buy clothes or, you know, anything like that. Everything is going to go towards um, all of my school fees. And so, um, you know, again, it, I know for me, when, when my son graduated from high school, I actually gave uh, Amazon gift cards because I knew that <laughs> they could literally, they could buy books, they could buy uh, toiletries, they could buy towels. I mean, there's so many things you can buy on Amazon. And so, um, but the GoFundMe page, it just kind of collects it all there together. So that's, that's one. The last one that I'll talk about is employer paid tuition. And I'm not going to go uh, too much into this. I will just say there are corporations like Chick-fil-A that do tuition reimbursement. So you could you could investigate that. But the one that I think is just the hidden jewel. And um, again, this is the only one that, um, well, that's not true. It's primarily for the student, although there are some places um, where moms or parents can work and their child gets free tuition. So there are some schools like that. So you may want to look at that. But do you all realize that, that um, here in Georgia, if you work for the University System of Georgia, then you get all tuition and fees paid at any in-state institution. Okay, so let that, let that sink in. Okay, so you've got a student that's graduating from high school at 18. And what are they qualified right now to do in higher ed as a job? They're qualified for things that require a high school diploma. So it's going to be things like perhaps um, an administrative assistant or uh, a janitor, a groundskeeper, um, somebody perhaps working in food service. And you may say, but I, I don't want my child to work in that. I, I get that. I Totally get that. Um, and I actually have, have walked a student through this. So uh, if you want to know more, um, catch me at another time. We can go into details. Okay. I, I completely understand that. However, do you understand not only will they be getting paid, but part of the benefit of working there is free tuition and fees. So 
they can have a job at Burger King or they can have a job in food service in higher ed. And I don't mean a student worker job. I mean a full-time job. So you, you are committing to working 40 hours a week. Okay. And so it, it's, it's a commitment and I understand that. But if, if money is an issue and you really are strategic, then you can, you can graduate, um, having them pay for it. I'll be honest with you all. I got my PhD this way. Um, I was not necessarily looking for the exact program, that um that was offered however when i was working at an institution of higher education our, my institution did not offer a phd at that time in education so we had another school georgia state who uh came and partnered with our institution and georgia state professors came to our school and taught us and do you know i got my phd tuition free because I was working at that institution and that's how I got my PhD. So um, I understand about employer paid tuition because that was a huge benefit to me. So um, as you can see, I really enjoy this topic and there's a lot going on with this topic too. So, um, so this video is a little bit longer today, but uh, I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate all you've done for the challenge and don't forget, check back this afternoon because we're going to be talking about the giveaway. All right. See y'all in a little while. Bye-bye.